Okay, so I think I know Hammer Shots pretty well. I think you'd know that I know Hammer Shots pretty well. So let's take a look at this thing. What's up, everybody? Graver here, and yes, today we are going to be taking a look at the Elite 2.0 Trailblazer. So, as with all of my reviews, I'm going to go over the aesthetics of this blaster, what it comes with, how it performs, or actually how it works. Take it over to the workbench, we'll take a look at the internals of it, and then I'm going to give you my final thoughts on it. But before we get into this, I have one thing I want to address. And that is this. The Elite 2.0 darts that this thing comes with. Now, this is the first Elite 2.0 blaster that I have gotten because, truth be told, the entire 2.0 series has not thrilled me whatsoever. With the majority of the blasters being uh, solvent welded together and all the plastic parts replacing springs and this and that and all, and certain redesigns, it's just I've not been a fan of this whatsoever. But I saw this and I was really kind of excited for it. So, But getting back into this, this Elite 2.0 dart, now, and I know the Elite darts have basically been the low bar standard for darts, but these, wow, um, these are crap. Like, seriously crap. Um, yeah, the foam that these are made with are extremely squishy. I don't know how well it's shown up on camera, but there's a lot of play in that foam. Um, it feels very coarse. Like, it doesn't have, like, a pleasant texture to it. And, you know, not that whatever that matters for. But comparing it to probably one of the gold standards, the Dart Zone Waffle Tip Dart, this foam is pretty rigid. So... And, or, and feels very dense, so this feels like it is a good, a good dart. Like it feels like good quality. Um, I'm not going to so much go into the tip because we know these tips are garbage. But I gotta say, it feels like it's the best constructed Nerf tip I've ever really had the pleasure of dealing with. But yeah, this foam is ugh, like I'm not a fan of it. But you get 16 of it when you get this thing, so going into the blaster itself now, uh, this is a hammer primed revolver type blaster, much like I had said earlier in the realm of the hammer shot and the sweet revenge and all of those. In order to uh, use it, you pull back on the hammer itself, which primes it, pull the trigger, and it fires. When you pull the tr when you pull the hammer back. It rotates the cylinder itself, and because there is no locks in it, uh, you can actually just pull the trigger down in order to release the hammer if you don't want to fire a dart. But that also means this does have, this is supposed to have slam fire in it, so. But there's that. Now, going over the aesthetics of the blaster, I gotta say it is actually pretty damn nice. The original 2.0 configuration i was not a big fan of that weird metallic -y teal color but i gotta say this royal blue and the teal that they used on it actually worked very well together and even the nerf orange that they use for you know the parts and all is actually somewhat toned down it looks actually a little darker than what i used to be seeing so uh, also the pattern on it is this really neat tiger stripe uh, this is considered the wild edition of 2.0, whatever the hell that means. But yeah, it's got this really neat uh, tiger stripe pattern on it, and it even uh, extends into the grip itself. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera because it's light on light, but you can see here a bit of the texture in the plastic itself. And I got to say, that is really nice. Overall, this side of the blaster looks really nice and really good, and I'm very happy with it. Then you flip it over and you realize it has a giant chunk missing out of the front barrel. So this is basically designed so you have access to load it. 
Um, it's very easy to load these top two barrels. So there's that. Um, also, you do have a very big center mass uh, to help guide the darts in. And I believe that's actually a carryover from the Alpha Strike um, Hammer Strike, I believe it was called. Yeah, because it's basically the cylinder from that, and or at least I think it is. But on the one thing I got to say, I really like the design of the cylinder. It's kind of skeletal. It's You can see the barrels. You can see where the barrels are separated and all. It's got a very nice design on it. Over and all, I mean, aesthetically, with the exception of this stupid thing here, because honestly, I would have been much happier if maybe they just took this in a little bit, so you just load it from the bottom barrels here. That would have worked out better than, you know, just carving out part of it. Uh, funny enough, they decided to segment or, you know, put cuts into the nerf rail on the bottom here, which is actually the only tack rail that is on the blaster. There is not one on top. The design that they actually put with the tack rail, I actually do really kind of like that. Now, the one thing that a few people ha I have heard comment on, and I will attest to, this grip is way smaller than the Hammer Shot or the Fortnite Blaster, the Sweet Revenge, or anything like that. Like, big meat paws here. You can see I the grip almost disappears in my hand. However, though, I will say this, surprisingly enough, it's not terrible. And I know I'm not one to be a big fan of these smaller grips. Like, I've heard people comment, oh, who designed this Busby? But I gotta say, it's actually not bad. It's, it's comfortable. I mean, I'm finding it comfortable. Like, I'm not finding it too, too terrible. Um, probably back here is where the most discomfort I have on it is. Like, if I choke up on it a bit much, my hand does go over... Uh, this little ridge here and will get in the way of the hammer prime itself But if I'm holding it just right It doesn't go over and I'm okay with that. So and As with just about everything nerf produces the paint is minimal and is only on one side You have the nerf logo painted here in the teal that or matching teal But they didn't prime it. So it's a little darker and then you have trailblazer painted there and on the other side where the nerf logo is it is not painted and here where it would say trailblazer you have a big chunk cut out because of the way they designed it so you only have trailblazer on one side of it so that is the overall look and how this thing works let's go take it over the bench and we'll take a look on the inside and see how similar it is to the other hammer prime the blasters that nerf produced Okay, for sake of time, as always, I have removed all of the screws, so let's open this thing up and see how it all comes and goes together. And, okay, it looks like one screw got stuck in there. Now, on the plus side, now I know this is going to be a little hard to see because it's black screws and black metal, but um, just about... It looks like the screws are all the same size. So, I mean, hey, good on you, Hasbro, for finally doing that. Um, all right, so it is not glued in any place, thank God. Uh, it does look like you can separate it out uh, fairly easily. It looks like the handle itself is just held together by... Actually, not even one clip. It really pops out very easily which honestly i'm very happy with so there's that yeah it just it fits in at connection points here and then it's honestly just held together by that one little clip and honestly that clip you can just push in and actually pops right off so despite my issues with this shell I mean, hey, Wayne, if you're going to be customizing this up, which I may or may not do, still I haven't decided yet. Uh, yeah, it breaks down easily, so there's that. 
So getting onto the internals of the blaster, it does look very hammer shot esque. The cylinder here is, I think, very reminiscent of that one from the Alpha Strike line, uh, especially with the way it's designed with the big flute right in the dead center of it. Going back here, it does look very reminiscent of the hammer shot with a little bit more of with a few more odds and ends on it. Like you do have a spring for the trigger, which I'm very happy with. It looks like the hammer is differently designed. Um, I have the Orange Mod Works hammer here, and I can already see the difference here that one doesn't look like the holes would line up properly. So, I yes, I know I'm not taking it apart, and I apologize, but you can kind of see already the difference in the hammer design in and of itself. Now, while yes, this is technically an aftermarket part, the holes still need to line up in order for it to replace the hammer shot uh, trigger. So all the hole placement would be would be correct. It's just the hammer was re was really redesigned. That was about it. But from what I can tell, it looks like there are Yeah, there are differences, like, because even just looking right, you can see right there, the hammer design from here is already way thinner. So I don't think aftermarket hammer shot parts are going to work properly, or if so, they're going to need some modification. The other, honestly, interesting thing that they did was under here, you can see is the spring so where in a traditional hammer shot it would be let me scroll is that what it is? i think it wouldn't work that yeah that looks right ish um sorry so here would be actually on a hammer shot it would be technically reversed like you would have a plate here to hold in the trigger and the springs for the hammer in and of itself, the connection points and all. And then this would be on the other side, so you'd be able to see the spring and all that stuff. It's actually reversed on here, and I'm not 100% sure why they decided to go that route. However, I have also seen uh, pictures of where this plastic is actually snapped along this line here when putting in a spring that is too strong. Now, I'm not sure. I have to go back and look, and if I, can, if I can find it, I'll insert it here and also obviously give credit where credit is due on it. But I'm not sure exactly where the fault was. I'd have to look at the picture, and I'll put a note here in regards to what that is. But if it splits here, I'm not sure if the lugs down here may have broken or if it broke up here. I think it would most probably be putting too much pressure on these pieces here and then pushed everything down that's where why it actually looked like it would have snapped unless it broke when they took it out i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah this is the internals of the trailblazer i gotta say it's again very hammer shot esque so it's something that can be worked with it's just a matter of refining any existing parts in order to work with this like Honestly, I think Hasbro changed it up just enough to where, yeah, we're, you know, it, it's familiar, but it's still something new. So I'm going to button this up and then I will give you my final thoughts on the Trailblazer. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Trailblazer. This is weird because I want to love it, but I want to hate it at the same time. It, it, it's just so weird because like just looking at this side of the blaster i absolutely love it i love the design of it like this little front barrel piece that they put i really like the way it, it works out i like the design of the cylinder i even like the tiger stripe of it and even the color scheme works well and i enjoy that however 
I hate this giant chunk missing out of the side of this thing. Because while well, this side looks really good and it's camera ready and we know how uh, Hasbro works because they they think only pe people only see one side of a pistol or a blaster of anything, this side feels so incomplete just because that giant well is missing. Like, even if it was a matter of just putting something here and if you needed to load it, you know, popping it out or even going old school like a Maverick or Strongarm... And right here where this stupid little, like, trademark crap is, put a button there and pop the cylinder out. Like, that would have been so much better than this. Um, the handle. I want to dislike the handle because it feels so small, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable. So, even there, it's like, I'm caught between a rock and a hard place like i want to like it because it's comfortable but i want to hate it because it's so small it's it's just it's weird um i mean price point wise this isn't terrible this is i think i got it for 15 and change on walmart.com because i've been trying to find this in stores none of the two around me have them i was able to finally get one uh off of the website and now I'm constantly getting emails from them saying, hey, would you be interested in this? Like, yes, that's why I ordered it, dumbass. But anyway, yeah, th it's weird. Um, it's cheaper than the Fortnite uh, six-shooter, which honestly I have to say is a very, very nice hammer shot replacement. Like, I have mine here. And I gotta say, I love everything about it. The fact that it comes natively with six rounds instead of five. You still have a good reach on the hammer. The, uh, the grip is chunky, but not uncomfortable. Like, this thing works in so many ways. And this does work as well. It's also about five bucks cheaper, because I think that retails for 20 Oh, no, I'm sorry, four bucks cheaper, because this retails for, like, 15 and change. This retails for, like, 19 and change. But I got to say, this is most probably the first 2.0 blaster that I really, really do like. Am I going to get another one? Time will tell on that one. Am I happy with this one? Yes. Could it be better? Yes. But for what it is... It's pretty okay. I'll say that. And that's where I'm going to end it for this video. So if you enjoy the content me and Arlene put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Trailblazer. Not maybe 2.0 in general, but at least this one. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. I love reading them and all. And ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness on the channel. And as a little friendly reminder... We have a P.O. box, so if you ever want to drop us a letter and make Mailman do something, go check it out. Uh, address is in the description below. And again, thank you all very much for joining us. I'll see you guys next time. Later!